just this kind of shrill, almost animalistic scream. Animalistic, but not an animal. Knew it was, you know, wrong. It wasn't a dog. It wasn't an animal. That vigilance kicking into overdrive. Jody Sue and her son went out to look for the source of the scream. My son and I decided to go out, look and see what we could see. We went back onto the bank, didn't see anything, didn't hear anything. They went on with their evening. The kids returned to being kids. Jody Sue headed down her driveway around six to ten to flowers. And at this point, I start hearing Candace hollering for summer. And then my brain immediately went, you know, scream earlier this, uh-oh. Jody Sue was the first to hear those calls and the first to join the search for summer. I dropped my purse. I tried to yell up at Candace. I was like, you know, I'm looking and I started looking. Jody Sue searched one side of a creek, Summer's brothers the opposite side. Oh. And you gave statements to the police, right? Oh, absolutely. Jody Sue had been interviewed many times by investigators, bringing up the scream often. But the sheriff doesn't believe the scream is related to the disappearance of Summer Wells. She's been interviewed numerous times by not only my agency, but the TBI and the FBI. And we don't find anything with that complaint or information related to this case. Oh, and then my favorite part today, finding a baby shoe in the fucking car under the floorboard. So it tells me what's wrong about new kids being around fucking Baltimore either and possibly fucking his. So there's another kid walking to be fucking abused or killed by another motherfucking abuser. But nobody's going to give a shit until... Until, what's my favorite goddamn word this year? Too stupid to realize what they're doing, which is helping this group try to contaminate discredit and contaminate jury pools and shit like that against my eldest. Great. If needed. Dive at monster and stall pump are too fucking ignorant to realize that. Passion, because no, it seems like you know and you you know yeah. those kids come here. In the summer before summer died. You you know yeah. those kids come here in the summer before summer died. You you know yeah. those kids come here in the summer before summer died. You you know yeah. those kids come here in the summer before summer died. You you know yeah. those kids come here in the summer before summer died. Robert, Jody. Oh, these are Jody's son, but I don't have the strength to come forward. Only like three people even know. How long have you known the rest of these true crimes? So, Jody Sue, get your ass on up here, Lava. We're going to talk all night long. Lord have mercy. Damn. Damn. Man down. Man down. It's got to be a predator. Now, only a predator would come up here and take our daughter. This is not going to be somebody like, oh, I love you, Summer, and I just want to save you from a bad situation. 90% of the time was something. Hold on a second. Did you hear what he said? It ain't going to be somebody that just comes up and says, I love you, Summer. I want to save you from a bad situation. Well, what's the bad situation, Don? What is the bad situation? Are you saying that yourself and your house is a bad situation? In a minute, you make me sick. You make me sick, Don. And I just now started looking at this. Because I, when, I, when I read over it, when I, when I actually went over it, and then I heard about... Well, how could you talk about beating a child? And that, that makes no sense to me. No sense to me at all. Watch this, guys. I would love to get a chance to interview uh, uh, Jose or whoever, even uh, Candace. I want to interview Candace. It takes a little girl or whatever, a boy even. It's for 90% of the time is because they're predators. So it's just not good. Somebody has hurt her, probably sexually, maybe beat the fuck out of her, probably killed her. Look at that. Look at that. Somebody has hurt her. He did not say, you know, oh, damn. He said somebody has. Past tense is in has. Anybody hear that? Did you hear that? He says somebody has hurt her. Beat the fuck out of her. 
Beat the fuck out of it. Hold on a second. The same, that'll be good. And, and because of all the pressure and YouTube and uh, the TV shows and everything else, they probably wanted to get rid of the evidence and so they probably killed her. I mean, let's be realistic. You hear that, guys? They probably wanted to get rid of the evidence, so they probably killed her. You know, they probably killed her, and they wanted... I'm about to throw up. This is sick, guys. Right there. He automatically says it. He's telling on himself, guys. I mean, there's no other way. He's never said this to nobody else. There you go. There's Don's own words. <sighs> no hope for finding her alive. Wow. There you go, guys. Listen to this part. This last 20 seconds, this 20 seconds right here is the most damning shit I've ever heard in my life. You know, this is the most damning shit I've ever heard in my life. It's not good. Somebody is Because what I'm trying to ascertain is that if she talked to the police on the 15th, the day Summer went missing, if she didn't tell you about the scream the first day, would she have told the police about it the first day? Like, it, 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 this is very strange. Um, right? like, like, I don't think she talked to the... To the police until the next day, if not the day after. Okay, but never you heard about the screen. How did you hear about the screen? No, not, not, don't let me load you up. How did you hear about the screen? Okay, about a, a day or two days later, Jody Sue come up here with Andy, and she goes, "I heard a scream, and that's why I was down below." Hey, Donnie, let me ask you a but question. But the day oh. I went out there looking, she didn't say anything about that. Wow. Yeah. I looked in there. I seen 13 messages between her and her drug. I'm going to say drug dealer because he is Andy. I mean, I don't know. I've made statements like that before. And it's not Randy, it's Andy. I sat there and heard it. I've made statements like that before. Okay. And it's not Randy, it's Andy. I sat there and heard it. Okay. But yeah, all I seen was the first message before she started walking up to the mailbox to get up here is that it was done and I was gonna read the next message of what she said. And it's funny, Jody Sue, how you say, see, my done and Voldemort's done are two very different things during this typical repeated and redundant discard phase of his. And Voldemort knows it. 
I changed and swerved left unexpectedly and immediately this time once I knew where we were in the cycle and place this time. Voldemort never will change. I believe Hunter was telling the truth when he was speaking to the interview room. But I wonder if the texts between Candace and Andy were really between Candace and you. Because the wording is exactly the same. Done. And this is real disturbing. He wrote, his patterns and behaviors will forever remain the same for the rest of his life, no matter how hard he tries to hide, and every source along the way will pay dearly at his hands, and any child unfortunate enough to be near him or in his path, and the extreme danger he poses to the public as well, it's just all sad AF. He's dangerous to children and to the public. Why would you not go to TBI about this or the Sheriff's Department? That scares me to know that other children are in danger. And this is real disturbing. He wrote, his patterns and behaviors will forever remain the same for the rest of his life, no matter how hard he tries to hide, and every source along the way will pay dearly at his hands, and any child unfortunate enough to be near him or in his path, and the extreme danger he poses to the public as well, it's just all sad AF. He's dangerous to children and to the public. Why would you not go to TBI about this or the Sheriff's Department? That scares me to know that other children are in danger. Yeah, it went crazy and she's... She, she was flooded in my driveway, walking on my driveway before 911 called. Is that what it was? Uh, Candace uh -huh. was. So she did drive up the hall or did she, she walk? Walked. She walked. She was walking from here. They said she walked off the driveway and walked uh, straight down the hall. Okay. That's where the 911 called. That's before she even called 911. She walked down here. Yeah. You don't remember what time that day that was? Uh, Uh, 
know if uh, Brecky or Brecky might get determined. 302 has been notified. He also wanted me to just remind you to be sure to check the housekeeper, even if they've said they've already had. Yeah, Hawkins County Rescue Squad, all members, mutual aid request, search and rescue with Churchill Rescue Squad. The staging area is going to be at Mount Carmel Baptist Church on Beach Creek. Hawkins County Rescue Squad, all members, mutual aid request from Churchill Rescue on a search and rescue. Staging area is going to be at Mount Carmel Baptist Church on Beach Creek. Also requesting a respond with six wheeler and command trailer. First page, 1911. Alright, I'm not filmed. I'm not Maybe some are what have been there. It's a bandage for Get going on the 15th anyway, right? But then again, there's an if there too, right? So if you were taken seriously, if somebody paid attention, if they finished falling through, and if they did their job, right? Then maybe summer would have been there to vanish on the 15th. And uh, should be should be someone known at the end. Everything will be fine. The uh, pieces didn't start coming until hours and days, and weeks, and whatever. After the fifteenth, well, and it's too fucking late, isn't it? It's all too late. Why he was potentially causing little girls over there to be sedated and to be touched with the shit he was selling over there. Go ask. Because I have fucking questions. not standing in front of him anymore. Bitch bush people at first not just immediately act like it's nothing. And not like I mean, it's just like, look you in the face and be like, Summer's dead no well. It's a big topic of discussion for everybody in Beach Creek and what's happening with that. And um, I honestly think I had done a video or two that day, that evening. I don't recall if they're open or not, um, but if they are, they're they're there and they're just hours before summer goes missing. So anyway, that was um, at least most of the interaction with JD. Uh, the guy was a little off. Um, the only vehicle I saw parked there that day, um, was the blue trailblazer, older. Um, the next day, um, as y'all seen and heard, things started changing, um, which we first took to be rumor, and I still, you know, they're questions about things, even for we who were up close and personal, 
with these situations and had visual on all of this for the duration. Um, Too stupid to realize what they're doing, which is helping this group try to contaminate discredit and contaminate jury pools and shit like that against my eldest. Right? If needed. To have it monster and stall pump are too fucking ignorant to realize that. <laughs> 